Hello everyone, welcome to Humboldt State University's first video on Rosetta Stone Foundations. My name is Kate Nelson and I'm going to be helping you through the login process for Rosetta Stone for your Introductory Language Course 105. I am currently the lab director, so you're also welcome to come visit me during my office hours if you have any other questions. First, the step you need to do is log into your HSU Gmail account. There you'll find a Rosetta Stone email sent from Rosetta Stone Online Info. That will give you your username, password, and the unique web address to Humboldt State that you need to access. First, notice the number one step is making sure that you have a USB headset. That means a headset with a microphone that plugs into your computer via the USB port. That will help you tremendously. If you don't have one, they're about $10 online. Make the investment so that way you don't have any headaches this semester. Next, you want to go ahead and click on this link, the Humboldt State Univ.RosettaStoneClassroom.com, which is pretty long, so make sure that you bookmark that. Next, we've already designed a username and password for you. You may change your password after you log in, but this is the password you must use to log in the first time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to Rosetta Stone's website. Here we are. So it's going to look just like this when you click on that link. I'm going to put in my temporary username and password and then click sign in. Okay, wonderful. I signed in, no problem. So as so you can see over here, we have home, profile, and change password. This is where you can change your password if you'd like, add any details about yourself. But we don't need to do this right now. So what you're going to click on first is Los launch Rosetta Stone language lessons version three. That is the technical name of Rosetta Stone foundations that you will be using for your course. So let's get this loading. This takes just a second. Now, because I have already launched Rosetta Stone before, there are some steps that my computer is skipping. The first one is you are going to have a box pop up that asks you to click male, female, or child. This is simply so the voice recognition software knows what to listen for. That's it. So please make sure you fill that out. Also, something else that's going to pop up is this screen right here. It pops up very, very quickly. You may not even have a chance to read it. That's why I included it here. So what this does is Rosetta Stone checks your system before they actually allow you to log on. They recommend these various elements right here and try to detect them. It recommends various web browsers, but from working with the students and hearing the tremendous difficulties that students have with Internet Explorer and Safari, I recommend only Chrome or Firefox. Please do not use another browser. If you are having trouble with Rosetta Stone, switch to Chrome or Firefox. Also, make sure you have cookies enabled. Rosetta Stone does not work without cookies. Also, you need Adobe Flash Player. That's another reason I think Chrome is a great choice because it already has Flash embedded. You don't have to worry about plugins or updates. It's part of the browser. Also, you need broadband bandwidth. You need a fast internet connection. This can be a problem on HSU's campus. If you're using the HSU wireless, this may be an issue. I have a couple ways to work around that listed in the syllabus. Please go look in the syllabus to try to fix this problem. Okay, so my uh, system's been checked. Everything's good. Now I'm in Rosetta Stone. Great. Go ahead and look on the website for our next video, which will show you all the steps to getting into your activities and getting your homework done. Thanks and see you soon.